This is really exciting. We are so close to the Texas Motor Speedway. This is a thrill. It's time for a morning coffee date. We're headed to PJ's. It says drive through but we know we can go inside. It's open. It is so thrilling to go on a Saturday morning coffee date. Have you gone on one yet? If not, why not? The atmosphere is great. And everyone behind the counter, including the barista, super sweet. It's sometimes hard to find somewhere that's quiet and not busy near the motor speedway because this place gets to popping. This is a peaceful coffee spot. And here's the menu and the decor. Well, it's really quaint and interesting and informative. I ordered the Cafe Au Lait medium roast with whole milk. Hot, of course. You know, it's a New Orleans kind of thing. You need to understand. And look at all these Danish choices. I picked the scrumptious strawberry cream cheese Danish and it vanished before I could even snap a picture. Phyllis Jordan is the founder of PJ's Cafe, coffee and tea company. She opened the first coffee establishment in 1978 on Maple Street in New Orleans. The beans are roasted in small batches in Marigny district of NOLA. You wondering what NOLA is? Well, it stands for New Orleans, or New Orleans, as the locals pronounce it. The pastries are made daily. Of course they are. Don't tell anybody, but we sat at the kids' table. Because the adult table is really boring. I agree. US 61, three miles. New Orleans, 47. Uh, I think we're a lot farther than 47 miles. If you're ever near the Texas Motor Speedway and you need a cup of coffee, I recommend PJ's. Where is your favorite coffee date spot? Tell us in the comments below. Have you subscribed yet? If so, thank you. And if not, why not? Please subscribe. I really need new subscribers and new viewers. So come on, hit that button. Flip flops on the ground, Saturday morning, unclassic road trip. Thank you.